Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To order Brant's latest book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, or to find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. You know what? It's just a great idea. It's just a fantastic idea. This, this college student at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, mm-hmm. served as an artist and resident. I think I just think a lot of people should do this. Okay. At a old folks home. Uh, so she gets free room and board. She didn't take anybody's place, mm-hmm. but she gets free room and board. They don't have to pay her anything. Okay. But she just plays piano oh, every wow. couple of evenings or whatever, entertains the people there. I bet you that's so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. They love it. I used to go with a guy named Blackie. He would play uh, um, harmonica. He was like 80. Okay. And we would do all the hits from way back when. I'd play guitar or accordion or whatever. So appreciative, right? They loved it. Yeah. But that's a great idea because a lot of people struggle to find a place to live mm-hmm. when you're young. Yeah. But if you have some skills that way, you can be a blessing to people. And they, I love it. It's, it's an artist in residence idea. Time to reflect. Just get on the old porch here and reflect. We got um, rocking oh, chairs here. Lemonade here. Yeah. I see that you're pouring. Yes. Sherry and I are of a certain age. We can remember stuff yes, and then yes. we can reminisce about it. Absolutely. And I want to reminisce about fax machines. Remember those? I do. Man, well, those are important. They were really important they were, for like yeah. this shining moment. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> It wasn't long. It wasn't long. No, it was not. Yeah. 1997, I read, was the height. Okay. When we sent the most faxes. That, that makes sense. I never ever actually figured it out either. Like, I was only frustrated by fax machines. You couldn't send it or receive? It never, I, I never struggle. figured it out. Well, thank goodness always, it didn't stick, I'll, stick around. No, I always <laughs> had to get help. And um, <laughs> it came and went without me ever figuring it out. I did something this last weekend that I'd never done before. I went skeet shooting hmm. with the guys. How did that go? Well, <laughs> how do you think it went, Sherry? Well, I, um, I don't want to say. No, say it. Okay. You, you have like 50 clay targets you're supposed to hit with a shotgun. Right, but they're up there in the sky. Yeah, moving. Did you have a problem being able to identify them? Sherry, I said pull. You're supposed to say pull. Yes, and then they right. fire the thing. Yes. I said pull and uh-huh. nothing happened. Okay, so what it... Well, apparently it did happen, but I <laughs> I can't see anything. That's why I didn't want to say so that. So after a while, maybe. I just started shooting <laughs> after I said bowl. And then trigger, plop, 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 plop. Yeah. The guys are giving me tips. I'm like, it's guys, don't, don't waste your time. I got zero out of 50 and uh, we had a good time. We had some good, conversation, good, it was yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> List of summer etiquette tips. I saw this and I okay. thought, you know what? I could, I could go, it's like, don't do this, don't do that. Right. More fun to take the don't out, I think. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so if you take the don't out of these etiquette tips. Uh huh. Set up right next to someone at the beach if there's room to spread. Ooh. <laughs> and block their view of the water. Oh my. <laughs> the next one. I've had people do that actually. When you leave the beach, shake out your sandy towel right next to someone. <laughs> And the last one is set off fireworks constantly. Okay. The fourth was over two weeks ago. It's time to move on. That, that, that I... makes for a very fun summer. <laughs> very, very fun it's summer. The, it's all about you, Summer. <laughs> Question for the ladies and the single ladies. If uh, you met a guy like this, I was reading about this guy who lives in New Zealand, uh, whether it'd be a deal breaker or not. Uh-huh. Let's say he's awesome. I don't know anything about him. His, his name's Lee. Okay. But let's say he's a great guy. Yeah. Spiritually mature, like handsome, all that stuff. Got you know. it. He does have 55 Homer Simpsons tattooed on his body. So his body's completely covered in, in Homer Simpson tattoos. Is that a deal breaker? Brand, I, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> just, uh, just let me know what you think. <laughs> Do you think that that would be to any woman? Well, if he can explain it. Other um, than Marge? <laughs> She may be okay with it, but so, the rest of us. Somewhere out there is a woman who has 55 Marge Simpson tattoos, and she's looking for a man. Hey, thank you. America's Christian Credit Union, uh, honored to partner with you, amped about it. Yeah. Um, if you want to join, by the way, you're listening, like, what is this? You can, it's you should look into it, honestly, uh, like for savings or checking or like ATM stuff, like just banking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's brilliant, uh, but you can find out more. Just go to brandhansoncom slash ACCU.
I watched a full documentary, like five, six episodes about late night talk show. Mm. And I want you to know you could totally do that. Perhaps really? that's not the path that you have <laughs> chosen, I see. But I was watching that. I was like, Hanson could pull that off. <laughs> you really could. Huh. Like, hmm. it, it started all the way back. There were some really funny people, by the way. Like, Steve Allen and those people in the beginning were really funny because they're just yeah. you're just starting and they're just trying anything, right? right out of right, nowhere. But right. um, watching how Letterman started, because I forgot about that. Yes. And then Conan. I was never a real big Conan fan. But then when they went back, I was like, oh, you know what? That is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Like and, and But a lot of the bits and things, I was like, uh, if you gave that to us. I uh -oh. bet you we could make that happen. <laughs> I, that's what I don't know if that's arrogance or whatever, but I'm watching it because no, be, behind it, like there are all these guys. But I, and I don't know. Most people probably don't know this. For the majority of them, there was a female uh, yeah. executive producer. Uh. And so that was for when executive producer and head writer. So that was for Letterman. That was for like every. And I was like, Hanson and I could probably make that happen. Yeah, I think. Because you, you'd be open to the bits and you have that kind of stuff in your head already, right? Yeah. And I was watching yeah. and I was like, they're doing that with like a, you know, a writing team of a team. eight or ten. Yeah. We could, you could do we that. We gotta pump you, it out yeah. every day. Letterman to me was really, 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 really funny at the beginning. Yes. At it the was, beginning. He had, he had a female executive producer who... Super funny show. Yes, yeah. It was so random. Yeah. Like, I still... <laughs> I mean, there's so much. <laughs> they had a guy, and I realize most people listen to this, you, you, you didn't see it, but right. they had a guy named Larry Bud Melman, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> he would interview people. He's just an older dude. He seemed kind of simple, yeah. but he had glasses and just yeah. very enthusiastic, but they sent him out to like, interview people on the street or celebrities, yeah. but he would always hold the microphone <laughs> in the wrong place, so <laughs> while he was talking, he had the microphone <laughs> at their mouth, and then when they started talking, he put it back... <laughs> And they did it a thousand times. They sent him out to cover everything. And he interviewed everybody. And he just did it so genuinely. It was like, and then the 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 height to me was mm -hmm. you'd hear these whistles and no it'd be random in the show. Right. You hear just whistles like like referee whistles going off like tweet, 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 tweet. And then they start flashing P boy, P boy, P boy, mm -hmm. P A boy uh-huh and this guy in a giant pea costume <laughs> would come running around he had a basket like a picnic basket and he would just run up and down the aisles and in the picnic basket were peas right. and he would just shower the crowd like with peas <laughs> it was like pea boy pea boy pea boy he would just would go and the crowd was going, be going nuts, going nuts. they're going nuts <laughs> <laughs> and he just ran out the door <laughs> which like had nothing to do with anything i mean that's like yeah yeah that's what i mean i was i was watching and i was like yeah i get this oh. i get all of this it uh. was in it, it, when ge took over nbc i don't know if you saw it david letterman goes he's gonna take like a fruit basket or something like to the ceo <laughs> uh. of ge and nobody knows who he is really and uh. so he's going to like the security guard, he knocks on the door and he's like, hey, I'd like to come in here. And the security guard is so curmudgeon -y towards him. Like, you got to get the camera out of here. Uh -huh. You got it. And he's like, but I'm here to see. The see it was so <laughs> funny because he wouldn't let it go. Like, but I have a fruit basket here for the, he's, he's my boss now. And I thought I'd come in here. And like, it's, yeah, I was watching and I was like, yeah. And it reminds me. Before things got like all political and stuff, yeah, right, right, it was funny, right. It was just funny, it and it just was, anger. yeah, it was an escape to something. And I was watching, like, man, it, we, yeah, I don't have to get too deep or whatever, but I was like, we used to just laugh, right. We used to just laugh. Yeah. That just used to be funny, not at anyone's expense necessarily. Just even going back to the Carson days, they showed a lot of that, and some of his bits were really, really, really funny. And I'm like, you know what that. Used to be fun. Yeah, it yeah. really did. Um, what was, yeah, uh, Carson, I'm trying to remember, I saw something. Well, he would do like the thing where he had the, like the dude from the zoo come and bring animals and yes. stuff, and that was always good. Well, they, they interviewed the lady who the first time he had it done, and it was a little monkey, uh -huh. and, he's, and then the monkey's like on his hand, and she's talking right. like, yeah, and so right. this, and he's like starting to crawl up his right. arm, but he's still trying to have this interview, right. and then it ends up on top of his head, yeah. and it's that kind of stuff that you can't control. Like, I love right. things like that, where it's like, and then he's up there on his head while he's talking, he's like, how long do you think he's going to stay up here? Like, and he held his composure right. so That's, well he knows it's funny yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's the understated 
yes thing this is funny and i'm gonna let it breathe here for a second you know bob newhart died last I week i saw that yeah and again for people you have to be of a certain age i didn't even really catch his career mm-hmm. but i did see some of his stand up a little bit yeah and i was like wow yeah that actually worked like yes totally understated it's smooth and not sm- when i say smooth there's there weren't peaks and valleys yeah it was just kind of right it's conversational it, and it's yeah. very different yes, if you listen it to it you'd be like okay that's that is very it's, very different the, la- the last thing i saw of his was very funny to me like the jokes were like man that is so funny and it, and it was the delivery uh-huh. right the, the delivery is just a specific kind of delivery that yes. i think is good yeah i love it too we were talking about something on the on the radio show there about uh, not responding the same way everybody else does to things. Okay. When, when Jesus talks about people um, who are stepping into his kingdom will behave this way. Mm-hmm. They turn the other cheek. They can be hit, but they turn the other cheek. Yeah. So other people don't dictate who you are, but it's like at a, at a baseline human instinctual level, humans strike back. Yes. Someone insults you, you want to insult them, or you strike back behind their back. Right. Even. Yeah. That's what humans do. And he's saying not these sorts of humans. Mm -hmm. And it is doable. You can become that sort of person, which is kind of a running theme for what we talk about. It's called discipleship. Right. So that you respond differently. But I was thinking about that. Like it's, that's just universal. That's what humans do. They could be educated. They could be wealthy. They could be powerful or the absolute opposite. That's what humans do. It could happen on this continent or Europe, (laughs) Africa, you know, Asia. It doesn't matter. It's universal. It is universal. So what kind of humans don't? Hmm. That they actually respond differently to stimuli. Like that's, that's a new creation. Ah, Yeah. And you, if throughout scripture, a lot of Paul to me has always been a little opaque. It's been tough. Like, mm-hmm. what, what? But I now see where scholars have said, actually, he is like Aristotle in some ways. Like, mm-hmm. he, he's a, he's a revelation in Greek thought. Like, yeah. So, but it's, it's a lot of it's talking about that will that we have. That's mm-hmm. our, that's our baseline will. And then yeah. there's this deeper will that we have. Mm hmm. That can be intention where we're not just driven by our desires or emotions in the moment. Mm-hmm. You become a different sort of person. But I was thinking in some about this. We have all these differences in the world. All of this, that, the other thing, nationality, race, creed, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. But if there were a group of people who were practicing this new creation thing, yeah. you've got more in common with them if you're trying to do that. That's exactly then right. you can, yeah, you can, you can go anywhere. You can go to Australia, you can go to South Africa, you can go to, you know, Egypt, whatever. You meet people like that, people of Jesus, mm-hmm. who are being transformed in his likeness. That is special. Like, you've got more in common with them than anybody else. There's no, because that's just a fundamental human change. Yeah. There's nothing like it. You know what? It's not that big of a deal. It's no big deal. Okay. Um, so fine that's the way life is going to be but it's not enough to give your password anymore is it no it's not no it's, it's incredibly frustrating you're, you're proud of yourself i remember my password yeah. and then you got to check a different device to <laughs> confirm the code <laughs> that we sent so like, and you've got to get there quick because that code's going to expire, expire so two seconds yeah. we just sent 48 <laughs> codes to 64 devices you have 12 seconds <laughs> And like, then you can pay well, your I can't, phone it just bill. need my password. <laughs> Got a nice note here. Uh, mostly nice. It says, Dear Brant, we love your show and all the effort you put into the quality content. Nice. But we have a problem. Okay. We heard you talking about how breakdancing is going to be part of the Olympics. Mm-hmm. It's true. We heard you say you can breakdance. Here's the problem. We don't believe you. Okay. Sincerely, the Watson family. The, okay. The yeah. whole Watson family wants to see you breakdance. Watson family. Okay. Oh, well, would you look at this? Explain this, wow. Watson family. I can't explain it. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh. Look at Careful. Oh. Careful. Oh. That oh. watch your neck. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't oh. think you should. Explain it, yeah. Watson family. Wow. That was, uh... Oh. 
quite the display. Oh. May I submit that you wouldn't be as out of breath if it wasn't oh. the hey, huh, huh. Yeah. That's usually for the hype person to do. You don't do that but, for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. The top of my head hurts right now, Watson <laughs> family. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com.